Hey, my name is Jackie, and I just wanted to go over a few things with everybody to find out what do you really understand and know about immune diseases. Um, I currently have lupus, and a lot of people don't understand what that means. But for me, it's hard. It's very hard. The hardest part about it is having your kids watch you suffer. And there's no current cure and what lupus is is, is it an inflammatory inflammatory disease that attacks your internal organs and if you're not on the proper care or proper treatment it, it will take your life um it it requires a lot of medication a lot of effusions and I'm currently not responding to any type of medication, so I'm having to go on what they call infusions. And you, it can affect anybody from newborns till 60 years old. You can be diagnosed with it. Um, it's a very misunderstood disease. Sometimes people really don't understand why you're so tired and why you just can't get up and do the things that they want you to do with them. Well, that because that is because of the fatigue. The fatigue is overwhelming. The fatigue takes everything out of you. The infusions take everything out of you. You come home, you go to, straight to bed, and you sleep for the rest of the day and all night. Lupus is a very tough disease and sometimes it, it gets you to where you just want to give up and just let it win and i struggle constantly with treatments should i continue treatments? should i quit treatments but i have three children and i always knew there was something wrong after the, the birth of my last child who is now 16 i would constantly pass out and lose hours and not know where the hours went and never and I always knew something was wrong with me but I never knew it would be this and actually my sister who is a head charge nurse down at our local hospital had told me that, that I had lupus and that she wanted me to get tested for it so when I did get tested my ANA strand came back over 300 and normal is zero to nine i'm gonna live with this for the rest of my life i'm gonna live with the aches that it gives you and the pain that it gives you both physically and mentally and on top of that i also have two forms of arthritis osteoarthritis and rheumatory arthritis and fibromyalgia usually when you have an autoimmune disease you usually don't just have an autoimmune disease you've got other diseases too and that's what makes it so rough and so tough on your body and on your mind it will put you into a deep depression if you're not careful and i have to go all the time for treatment medicines are expensive the infusion alone runs into the, the thousands of dollars and without the medication you know what am I supposed to do lay here and die so an autoimmune disease a lot of people don't understand a lot about them but this particular one it just attacks your internal organs there's ones that attacks just your skin there's ones that attack just your head where your hair is and it can and your hair does fall out you will lose hair and the hardest part for me is my children watching me suffer that really is the hardest part sometimes I wish I could just you know it be over with and then that way my kids don't have to watch it anymore but every day's a fight. Every day's a struggle for me and all those others that are out there that have it. 
I mean, I'm not the only one. There's probably nine out of ten people diagnosed a day. And there's not a lot of funding for it. But there is a foundation that tries to do what they can with the money they have. But, you know, you, you're allergic to the sun. I can't go out into the sun. The sun causes me to blister. If you can see the scars on my hands. And they're all over my legs. Um, so I have to enjoy the summer from inside my home. I have to go shopping in, in, when sun sets. And it's rough. It really is rough. But if you have any questions and need me to answer them, you can leave them down below. And you can also click the subscribe button if you like this video. And I will be bringing more videos. Thanks.